taking along all the stakeholders in the enterprise of nation building on the road to quality consciousness. The realization that quality expresses itself through standards is what BIS stands for. We decided to partner with Gram Panchayats to take this realization to where the idea of a modern, prosperous nation descend on the ground and become a reality. This film is developed as a tool of knowledge sharing on Indian standards. A window into the world of indigenous standards our Gram Panchayats need to know. This film is in seven parts. Each part presents information about standards related to the specific area. So first, let us know about the product standards related to the civil works in part one. Construction drives India's economic growth and the rural sector plays a pivotal role in the socio-economic fabric of India, contributing significantly to the nation's growth and development. With an increasing population and expanding rural areas, the construction sector is very important for progress, generating employment, driving technological advancements and meeting the evolving needs of society. As India continues on its path of growth and transformation, the rural sector's role in construction becomes increasingly pivotal embodying the essence of inclusive development and nation building. Numerous government schemes play a pivotal role in fostering rural development. Pradhan Mantri Avaz Yojana Gramin is instrumental in addressing the pressing need for proper housing that leads to overall rural development. Similarly, Pradhan Mantri Gram Sadak Yojana addresses the vital requirement for rural connectivity, ensuring improved accessibility. Swachh Bharat Mission stands committed to achieving a clean and open defecation-free India by constructing toilets and promoting sanitation practices in rural areas. It plays a crucial role in enhancing the overall hygiene and well-being of rural communities. The cornerstone of this framework lies in the Indian standards, meticulously crafted and regularly updated by the Bureau of Indian Standards, BIS, which cover diverse areas including structural design, construction materials, seismic considerations and safety protocols. One of the pivotal documents is the National Building Code, NBC, which serves as a guide for architects, engineers and builders in ensuring the structural integrity and safety of buildings. Moreover, it is essential to note that the ISI mark serves as a symbol of quality assurance. Are you aware that the products carrying ISI mark adhere to the established standards guaranteeing quality and reliability? In the heart of rural India, where the essence of tradition meets the promise of progress, the standards for civil works play a pivotal role in shaping sustainable and resilient communities. From the sturdy homes that dot the countryside to the roads that connect communities, each element is a testament to the adherence to quality standards. Let us look at our villages and the types of construction. The need for well-built roads is paramount in rural India where vast landscapes connect communities. Let us delve into the key aspects of civil work. Ensuring roads meet the standards set by Bureau of Indian Standards is important. Paving bitumen is crucial in road construction and maintenance, providing strength, durability and weather resistance to road surfaces. One of the recognized standards governing the specifications for paving bitumen is IS-73, ensuring that the material meets the established quality benchmarks. Bitumen emulsion is a mixture of bitumen, asphalt, water and emulsifying agent. This emulsion has several applications in road construction and maintenance. The physical and chemical requirements of bitumen emulsions are essential factors to be considered. Street lighting poles are crucial rural infrastructure elements and the choice of materials including precast, pre-stressed concrete can impact their overall performance and longevity. 
precast concrete pipes are pre-manufactured pipes made from concrete, widely used in projects for drainage, sewage, stormwater management and culvert applications. Precast concrete pipes are crucial in efficient and reliable water and wastewater conveyance for both pressure and non-pressure applications. The adherence to quality benchmarks is exemplified by the relevant standard IS 458 ensuring that these pipes meet established criteria for performance, durability and safety. Below the surface, the village invests in concrete manhole covers and frames, promoting a modern sanitation system that is both efficient and long-lasting. Precast concrete manhole covers and frames are pre-manufactured components used to construct manholes. It offers advantages in quality control, durability and ease of installation. It's just not about building structures. It's about weaving dreams, nurturing education and fostering health care for a brighter tomorrow. Let's begin with the very foundation, the building materials from cement that binds communities to red clay bricks that symbolize resilience Every element undergoes stringent quality checks to ensure durability and strength. Ordinary Portland cement, OPC, is one of the most commonly used types of cement in construction. It is a fundamental component in producing concrete, the primary foundation material for construction. The adherence to established standards such as IS 269 ensures that the production and utilization of these cement types meet the prescribed benchmarks for quality, performance and environmental consciousness. We utilize slag or pozzolona, both of which are byproducts contributing significantly to sustainability and environmental responsibility. Red bricks are extensively used in residential construction for exterior and interior walls, commercial buildings and pavements. The size and quality requirements of these bricks are essential. Adherence to the standards helps achieve the desired structural integrity and durability in construction. Hollow and solid concrete blocks are versatile construction materials used in various applications due to their strength durability and ease of use. They are used as load-bearing walls, foundation walls, columns and pyres, retaining walls, chimneys and fillers in construction. Paving blocks are precast concrete units used to construct pavements, walkways, driveways and other outdoor surfaces. These blocks come in various shapes, sizes and colors and provides a versatile and aesthetically pleasing option for creating durable and functional paved areas. Adhering to the standards outlined in IS 15658 2021 is essential for ensuring the quality, performance and safety of paving blocks. Plywood is a versatile building material commonly used for various general purpose applications. When selecting plywood for general uses, consider the grade, thickness and the intended application. Galvanized steel strips and sheets are steel products that have undergone a galvanization process to provide corrosion resistance. This process enhances the durability and longevity of the steel making it suitable for various applications in construction, manufacturing and other industries. These products are often produced according to recognized standards to ensure consistent quality and performance. The village centre takes shape with the use of structural steel, providing a framework for communal spaces that stand tall and proud. Mild steel plates, sections including channels, beams, angles and sheet pilings are used for construction. To ensure the quality and performance of mild steel plates and sections, adherence to the established standard IS 2062 is imperative. This standard outlines specifications and guidelines that contribute to uniformity, 
durability and safety of these materials. Non-seaward on-site sanitation systems also known as decentralized sanitation systems are designed to treat and manage human waste at or near the point of generation without the need for connection to a centralized sewer system. IS 18150 plays a pivotal role in establishing guidelines for the design, installation and maintenance of non-seaward sanitation systems. A septic tank is a watertight container typically made of concrete, fiberglass or plastic buried in the ground. Its primary function is to treat and dispose of household wastewater on the property where it is installed. The standard for septic tanks provides guidelines for installing and maintaining septic tanks. It covers various aspects including the selection, construction, ventilation and the maintenance procedures. Precast concrete septic tanks are pre-manufactured tanks cast and cured off-site before being transported and installed at the intended location. Standards are crucial in ensuring precast concrete septic tanks, proper design, manufacturing and installation. Sir M. Vishweshwaraya said, The way to build a nation is to build a good citizen. The majority of the citizens should be efficient and of good character and possess a reasonably high sense of duty. Through the lens of these standards, the village looks forward to a tomorrow that is not only built on concrete and steel, but on the principles of quality, durability, safety and community well-being. In part 2, we will know about the Indian standards for products related to agriculture and allied sectors. In times to come, India is poised to become the most populous country in the world. Our agricultural sector will always remain in focus because it makes a significant contribution to total domestic production and apart from exports, provides sustenance to 1.4 billion people in this country. The foundation of a robust agricultural sector is built on meticulous care given to the crops from seed to harvest. Bureau of Indian Standards is consistently working on standards for the agricultural sector, thereby ensuring certified products for those involved in this field. Now we take you into the journey of agricultural articles, which are of mainly three categories, agricultural machinery, pesticides and fertilizers, and irrigation equipments. The farmer can ensure the performance and safety of agricultural machinery by going through Indian standards such as IS-12207 for tractors, IS-13539 for power tillers, and IS-15806 for harvesters, etc. Similarly, through Indian standards like IS-9020 for threshers, IS-7898 for chaff cutter, IS-1973 for sugarcane crushers. Safety of farmers is ensured by designing of feed hoppers to prevent the user's hand and clothing not getting entangled into the moving parts and thus preventing accidents. Additionally, the materials used in these machines are ensured for long hours of operation. As you know, protection of crops as well as growing them healthy is necessary during whole time of farming. BIS has established over 300 standards in the area of pesticides, insecticides, fungicides, herbicides, organic fertilizers, micronutrients and more. These standards ensure correct quantity of pesticides and chemicals and active ingredients and also set limit for parameters such as solubility, acidity or alkalinity. This helps in using them effectively and causing minimal harm to the plant and soil. BIS has also standardized plant protection equipment like IS3906 for knapsack sprayer, IS11313 for power sprayers by establishing parameters such as spray efficiency, durability, leakage test to ensure that these products distribute pesticides in the right quantity, operate for an extended period and are user friendly. Knowing the importance of irrigation equipment, BIS has established standards such as IS8034 for submersible pump, IS9079 for monoblock pumps, ensuring their efficiency, safety and durability. For water supply, BIS has developed Indian standards such as IS4985, IS4984, IS17425, IS12818, IS7834 for PVC and HDP piping system. 
These standards ensure proper manufacturing and testing such as hydrostatic test, impact test, tensile test so that they can withstand the correct pressure and do not break easily. Similarly, IS13487, IS13488, IS12232 are developed by BIS for components used in drip and sprinkler systems such as emitters, rotating sprinklers, etc. These products undergo testing for parameters like flow rate, leakage and hydrostatic test, etc. which ensure the efficient operation of drip and sprinkler systems. BIS has established standards such as IS2052 for cattle compounded feed and IS1374 for, for poultry feed. These standards define the quality of raw materials including cereals and other ingredients such as minerals and vitamins providing them with nutritious and healthy feed. Additionally, it ensures that these feed do not contain pathogenic microorganisms ensuring the safety of animals. If you cultivate fruits, vegetables or other crops in controlled condition or control environment, the yield can increase several times compared to open environment or fields. Keeping this in mind, code of practices has been established for proper design, construction and operation of greenhouses, polyhouses and plastic mulching system. Bureau of Indian Standards has also defined standards for the nets used in protecting crops from pests, birds and cattle. These standards look over the quality of nets through parameters such as appropriate size, strength, durability, UV resistance, etc. thereby ensuring crop safety and maximizing the productivity. In the fields of agriculture, quality is just not a practice, it's a promise. A promise of sustenance, health, and a shared future. As we celebrate the bounty of our harvest, let us also celebrate the dedication of those farmers who cultivate the very essence of life and Bureau of Indian Standards always stands side by side with them. We now move on to part 3, which is about the standards related to irrigation, water supply and sanitation. India is a water stress nation with a challenge that 63 million people lack access to clean drinking water. The stakeholders encompassing ministries, state government, municipal corporations, NGOs and local bodies at the village level are joining hands together for executing Government of India initiatives like Jal Jeevan Mission at the village level. When we talk of quality of products in the water supply chain, we talk of quality of motorized pumps, cables, starter switches and other equipment used in these pumps material of motors and pumps, efficiency of these pumps, which are very critical and important aspects. But these aspects are duly taken care by the provisions made in the national standards published by Bureau of Indian Standards. These national standards such as IS8034 for borewell pumps, 9079 for monoblock pumps, which have been formulated by expert technical committee members of the BIS covering design parameters, safety of the user, optimum efficiency of the pumps to ensure that the water is lifted from the source in an effective and efficient manner with optimal use of energy. A recent initiative of the Government of India is the Kusum scheme to promote the use of green energy through solar photovoltaic water pumping system. BIS complements this effort through a series of national standards such as IS 17018, 17429, and IS 17941 on this important subject for our sustainable future. An important part of the water supply chain is a network of piping system either made of galvanized pipes, UPVC, polypropylene or HDPE. These pipes have been standardized by BIS technical committee experts in their respective fields to ensure that the safe reliable and cost-effective piping system are deployed for transporting water. For example, thickness of pipes, thickness and uniformity of zinc coating of GI pipes are prescribed in Indian Standard 1239. Dimensional and strength parameters of UPC pipes 
वेदर प्रूफ प्रॉपर्टीज परमिसिबल लिमिट्स ऑफ हार्मफुल एलिमेंट्स इन टू पोर्टेबल वाटर हैव बीन प्रिस्क्राइब इन इंडियन स्टैंडर्ड फोर नाइन एट फाइव और इंडियन स्टैंडर्ड वन फाइव एट जीरो वन टू एंश्योर दैट द सेफ ड्रिंकिंग वाटर रीच इज द एंड यूजर ईच पाइप इज टेस्टेड फॉर इट्स लीकेज अगेंस्ट द स्पेसिफाइड हाइड्रोस्टेटिक प्रेशर टू चेक इट्स फिटनेस फॉर यूज and the upvc pipe does not contain toxic or carcinogenic elements like lead mercury arsenic cadmium which can cause serious health problems for the human being the valves deployed in the water supply chain including sluice valves reflux valves ball valves butterfly valves have also been standardized by bis the specific requirements of these products have been laid down in the standards like IS 14846 IS 9890 and IS 13095 in addition the ferrule cox for connecting main line to the household while cox bib taps have their quality parameters laid down in the respective standards formulated by BIS now let us talk about quality of water is it fit for human consumption does it contain any heavy metal or other harmful chemicals beyond permissible limit does it have any toxic element or biological impurities or physical impurities beyond acceptable limit the answer to this entire question is indian standard ies 10500 the national standard for potable water this standard prescribes the permissible limits of chemical physical and biological impurities beyond which the water is not safe for human consumption the village level authorities and the municipal corporations are being sensitized by bis to ensure that through standards every drop of water reaching our rural population is safe rivers canals ponds and wells have been traditional sources of water for irrigation purpose in our country bis has published national standards on motorized pumps polyethylene pipes irrigation laterals emitters sprinkler system so that the water from these sources reaches effectively to the fields indian standards for drip irrigation system helps farmers to optimize usage of water and maximize the crop yields these system deliver water directly to the roots of the plants thus minimizing the evaporation and ensuring that every drop is utilized effectively at the bureau of indian standards we believe that national standards play a vital role in ensuring the sustainable and equitable distribution of water in the country by adhering to these standards we not only safeguard our water resources but also protect the health and well-being of our citizens in part 4 we will know about the standards related to stationery and furniture items We all know that education plays a crucial role in nation building. It not only aids personal development but also contributes significantly to prosperity, social welfare and national progress. Gram panchayats as the pivotal units of the nation regularly implement various government plans related to village development and welfare, focusing on advanced education for every villager. Quality education resources in every education institution thus become pivotal for students at every step. In this way every family in the village aspires to have quality resources and a secure environment for the education of their children ensuring a bright future for the upcoming generation eventually contributing to nation building padhega india tabhi to badhega india is an inspirational quote used to emphasize the importance of education through this message it is conveyed that educating people is essential for bringing about social and economic improvements in the country the indian government has initiated various plans to encourage rural education and enhance the quality of education in rural areas for people of different age groups these include national literacy mission samagra shiksha abhiyan pm shri schools atal tinkering labs etc the main objectives of these schemes by the indian government is to enhance the ease accessibility and quality of education in both rural and urban areas these initiatives work towards social justice inclusivity and national development in the field of education and are aimed at raising the standards of education at par with global standards amidst all these efforts by the indian government it is essential to understand the crucial contribution of bureau of indian standards bis the national standards body of india working under the ministry of consumer affairs food and public distribution government of india BIS is better known through its established certification marks including ISI mark and Hallmark. 
BIS is now collaborating with the Gram Panchayats to ensure the quality of education related resources providing children with a safe and conducive environment. We all know the significance of pen and paper in our daily lives and especially as school children you must be understanding the importance in your education. BIS as the National Standards Body of India also ensures the quality of these things. Especially paper, BIS has formulated many standards. IS 1848 has been formulated for writing and printing paper. Similarly, IS 14490 has been formulated for plain copier paper. IS 12766 has been specially formulated for computer printer paper. Important tests that are done on these BIS certified papers including tests on paper thickness, sizes, brightness, opacity, smoothness, pH, tear index which ensure the quality and long life of the paper. Similarly, for pens, an essential part of the learning process, BIS has formulated various standards such as IS 3705. This standard specifies the requirements and testing procedures of ballpoint pens including single refill ballpoint pens. IS 3707 defines the requirements and testing procedures for ballpoint pen refills made entirely of metal or a combination of metal and plastic. Chalk and chalkboards have been the traditional teaching method. Uh, BIS has also formulated standards like IS 2694, IS 4222 and IS 14633. While the first talks about white chalks, the second talks about colored chalk and the third one IS 14633 talks about boards such as these. Vocational education is also a vital part of our education system providing detailed courses on various trades. For tools used in these courses such as scissors, staplers, information technology peripherals, school bags, BIS has established standards including IS 989 which specifies the classification, requirements, dimensions and materials for various type of scissors. IS 5348 specifies the material and testing requirements for light duty and heavy duty staples used in stapling machines. IS 10228 specifies the material and dimensions and testing requirements for bags used by school students to carry books, writing materials and drawing instruments. Additionally, considering the purchase of various types of furniture for schools and hostels based on usage which directly relates to the safety and health of students, BIS has established standards for items such as mattresses, chairs, stools, tables and desks, etc. IS 7933 specifies the requirements, sampling methods and testing for flexible polyurethane foam for domestic mattresses. IS 17631 specifies the performance and safety requirements for fully assembled work chairs and ready to assemble units. IS 17632 covers general purpose chairs and stools which ensures testing for frontage, forward, sideways and rearwards overturning so that the safety of the person using it is ensured. IS 17633 includes requirements related to performance and safety that is strength, stability and durability of tables and desks for use in the sitting and or standing positions by adults to ensure the peak performance of the certified table through their service life. When you spot the BI certification mark, it signifies that the product complies with stringent national standards guaranteeing quality and reliability. The authenticity of the BIS certification marks can also be easily verified using the freely downloadable BIS Care app within seconds. Summing up, it can easily be stated that adherence to quality standards as exemplified by the Bureau of Indian Standards significantly enhances the overall education experience and contributes to the overall well-being and success of students. Gram Panchayat members can play a leading role in contributing to the overall development of their village and their state through implementation of the relevant Indian standards. It is not just a hope but a firm belief that with such collaborative efforts, India in the coming years will be a Bharat that directs the entire world in a new direction. One that is vibrant, strong, prosperous and globally influential. So the next time you pick up a paper, write with a pen or sit on a chair, insist for the BIS mark. It is your assurance of quality, safety and a commitment to a better environment. Part 5 is about the standards related to energy and conservation. As we all know that the sources of energy in the world, be it coal or fossil fuel or atomic energy are limited and if they are not utilized optimally, can lead to energy scarcity. In this context, energy conservation assumes greater importance. It is said 
that energy saved is energy produced. The government through various initiatives has been promoting energy conservation by promoting harnessing of energy from waste such as biogas for cook stoves, generation of green energy using solar systems, use of energy efficient lighting such as LED bulbs etc. Let us look at some of the important Indian standards on cook stoves which promote energy conservation. The Indian standard 13429 part 1 on solar box type cookers and IS 13152 part 1 on portable solid biomass cook stove are important Indian standards on this subject. Biomass is an important energy source as it is renewable, widely available, carbon neutral and has the potential to provide significant employment in the rural areas. About 32 percent of the total primary energy use in the country is still derived from biomass and more than 70 percent of the country's population depends upon it for its energy needs. The Indian standard 9478 provides the guidance to stakeholders to select and design the capacity of biogas plant for the requirements of biogas. Biogas plant mainly consists of a digester, gas storage unit, inlet and outlet assembly, mixing chamber and gas distribution pipelines. In the space of energy efficient lighting solutions, LED bulbs for households, LED street lights and LED luminaires are widely used from the viewpoint of energy conservation. Under the Government of India's Ujala program, LED bulbs were distributed among households to promote the use of these bulbs with an aim to reduce energy consumption. These bulbs are covered under Indian standard 16102. This standard published in two parts covers safety and performance requirements separately. They cover extensively the requirements of insulation resistance, cap temperature rise, clearance and creepage distances as well as luminous flux, rated life, rated efficacy, power factor among other parameters. Similarly, IS 16103 part 1 and part 2 cover safety and performance requirements of LED modules. They are widely used in both indoor and outdoor lighting for the purpose of decoration, party lights, signages, glow signs etc. For street lighting purpose, LED street lighting luminaires are widely used these days. IS 16107 through its different parts covers the general and performance requirements for LED luminaire including LED street lighting luminaire. Harnessing of solar energy for our day to day use is one of the focus areas of the government. Terrestrial solar photovoltaic modules which are generally referred to as solar panels by common people are used to generate energy from solar radiation. The Indian standard on terrestrial solar photovoltaic modules IS 14286 part 1 deals with the design qualification and type approval of these modules. The solar energy so produced from photovoltaic cells is fed into the existing electrical distribution network using power converters covered under Indian standard 16221 part 2. The country has taken a giant step towards energy conservation and harnessing of non-conventional energy sources for a sustainable future. Use of the products duly certified for their conformance to relevant Indian standards as discussed will accelerate our collective journey towards an energy secure future. Part 6 is about standards related to home appliances. Household appliances are those which we commonly find in our homes. They can be broadly divided into two types, household electrical appliances, household non-electrical appliances. While purchasing and using household appliances, apart from performance, their safety and reliability in operation assume greater importance in view of the potential immediate risk to the user. In order to be assured of their safety and reliability, products which conform to the relevant Indian standard and bear ISI marks should be used. Let us look at some important Indian standards on electric household appliances relating to the safety aspects which are common in our homes and how these standards through their provisions ensure protection and well-being of the users. Indian standards on household electrical appliances such as IS366 on electrical iron, IS367 on electric kettle and jugs and IS4250 on electric food mixers contain requirements on earthing, resistance to heat and fire, mechanical strength, protection against transient over voltages etc. Performance of the appliance is also a major aspect for the consumer be it heating up time or sole plate temperature in case of electric iron or time to boil water or thermal efficiency in case of electric kettle and jugs. Adhering to the Indian standards, make sure that the appliances function reliably, 
to meet the expectations of the consumer. While using electricity at homes, we must give utmost importance to safety in our house wiring. The Indian standards 1293 on plugs and sockets, IS3854 on switches, and IS694 on insulated cables through their requirements ensure that the users are safe from electrical hazards in their homes. For household water heating solutions, Indian standard 2082 for storage type water heaters, IS368 for immersion heaters, IS8978 for instantaneous water heaters exist which deal extensively in performance requirements for the accomplishment of desired result in an optimum manner. Even in the area of heating, ventilation and air conditioning, the Indian standard IS1391 for window and split air conditioners, IS374 for electric ceiling type fans and regulators, IS1169 for electrical pedestal type fans and regulators, IS2312 for exhaust fans and IS369 for room heaters are the important Indian standards in this area which specify requirements relating to power consumption, cooling capacity, heating capacity, maximum heating, air delivery etc. For cooking solutions at your home, the Indian standard 2994 on electric stoves, IS5790 on electric cooking ovens, IS11879 on electric steam cookers, IS11676 on microwave ovens, IS302 part 2 section 6 on induction stove and IS10945 on electric gas lighters are the ones that provide you with the quality and safety parameters of these products. In the family of large household appliances, IS17550 part 1, IS14155 and IS1475 part 1 contain specific requirements for refrigerators, washing machines and self-contained drinking water coolers respectively. In the space of non-electrical household appliances, domestic LPG stoves conforming to Indian standard 4246, LPG gas cylinders conforming to IS3196 part 1, LPG regulators conforming to IS9798 and LPG valves conforming to IS8737 could be found in the kitchen of every household. Considering explosive nature of the low pressure liquefied petroleum gas, the government of India has also made it mandatory for these products to bear ISI mark for safety of the users. It is said that electricity is a good servant but a bad master and electrical safety is not a choice, it is a responsibility. The Indian standards on various electrical appliances as discussed above not only ensure that the products are safe for use but perform to the expectations of the users. These are a few important Indian standards in this area and there are many more Indian standards dealing with a wide variety of electrical appliances and accessories. And finally, part 7 is based on the standards related to women and child development. We all know Government of India has launched various programs and schemes for the welfare and overall development of women and children. Some of these schemes are Beti Bachao, Beti Padao, Pradhan Mantri Matra Vandana Yojana, Anganwadi Centers under Integrated Child Development Services, Poshan Abhiyan and National Nutrition Mission. And these schemes, various products, materials, equipment are purchased and provided to the beneficiaries, which include healthcare products, nutritional products, personal hygiene products, and educational and sports equipment. In implementation of these programs, Gram Panchayats play an important role at the village level. But whether Gram Panchayat officials are aware of quality norms set for various products and the risk associated with poor quality of products, here Bureau of Indian Standards, BIS, the national standards body of India playing an important role. We have to learn and understand how Bureau of Indian Standards can make our lives better and simple. BIS can help Gram Panchayats in ensuring that products provided to women and children meet the quality and safety standards. BIS has formulated a number of Indian standards for the products used in various schemes for women and child development. Indian standards for these products prescribes safety requirements right from the raw materials to finished product. In case of nutritional products, hygienic practices to be followed in manufacturing are also prescribed in the standard. For the benefit of general public, BIS operates product certification scheme which is popularly known as ISMR. License to use ISMR is granted to manufacturers only after ensuring that their product conforms to the relevant Indian standard. The presence of ISMR on a product gives confidence to the consumer that the product complies with the requirements prescribed in Indian standard. 
Let us discuss some of the basic medical equipment and safety products that are regularly used in health centers. IS9473 for N95 mask. We all know that this mask protects us against infections. During the COVID pandemic, these masks helped us to control the spread of disease. IS5405 for sanitary napkins ensures that raw materials used for manufacturing are safe don't cause any skin irritation. Adherence to these standards provides good hygiene, protection against infectious diseases and promotes overall well-being and comfort for the woman. We generally refer women as Goddess Lakshmi who has charismatic look. BIS brought out Indian standards on some of the commonly used cosmetics. For example, IS14649 for Sindur, IS9875 for lipstick, IS15154 for Kajal. Different chemicals are used in manufacturing of these cosmetics. To ensure safety of these products, Indian standard prescribes requirements for rancidity, limits for heavy metals and arsenic. To ensure that the products meet safety and health standards to prevent any side effect. Now we will look into some of the important Indian standards that help in ensuring the nutritional needs of newborns. Indian standard 11536 is for processed grain based complementary food, IS1656 for milk based complementary food and IS1433 for infant milk substitutes. These standards specify the trace amounts of heavy metals, other contaminants, toxic substances like lead, arsenic etc. to ensure that the food is safe for consumption by children. Not only the food items, but containers used for serving food also should be safe for children. BIS formulated IS14625 for plastic feeding bottles. This standard ensures that material used in manufacture do not cause any toxic effect. To ensure that infants are brought up in clean environment, BIS formulated IS17509 for baby diapers, which ensures personal hygiene. In spite of care taken by the mothers, quite often children fall sick and require medical care using safe equipment. BIS formulated IS13450 part 2 section 19 for infant incubators and IS13450 part 2 section 21 for infant radiant warmers. These Indian standards prescribes not only the requirements for the performance of the equipment but also the safety requirements to prevent any hazards. For physical and mental growth of children, toys play an important role in childhood. Toys should only create joy to children, should not cause any pain or injury. It is quite common to observe children keep the toys in their mouth while playing with them. The chemicals used in toys should be safe for them and should not contain any harmful toxic substances. In this regard, we have the most essential standard IS9873 part 1 which is for the safety of toys. Toys made in accordance with this standard ensure that toys are designed for safety of children and don't cause any harm or injury. Keeping the safety of children in mind, BIS standard mark has been made mandatory on toys by the government of India. We all know sports play an important role in the development of physical growth and mental health of children. Sports teaches collective spirit, tolerance and a healthy lifestyle. Now we will try to understand through some examples of Indian standards on sports equipment for children that will keep our children safe as well as promote their sports performance. We all know how popular cricket is in India. It is quite common to see children playing cricket on streets. To ensure the safety of players, BIS has formulated IS828 part 1 for cricket bats, IS3800 for batting gloves, IS3785 for wicket creeping gloves and IS3923 for leg guards. These standards prescribe requirements for raw materials, standard weight and dimensions, breathability to ensure that player can use them comfortably and safely. Not only for cricket but for other sports also, BIS formulated Indian standards. IS 415 is for shuttlecocks. Football, basketball, volleyball are covered in various parts of IS 417. These standards specify 
quality parameters such as rebound, water absorption, roundness of the ball and pressure drop etc. which in turn increases the enjoyment of the game. By the use of standardized sports equipment, children will not face any difficulty in playing at various levels like district level, state level, national level. This will also increase the sporting ability of children who will later bring glory to their village and the country. Only few important Indian standards were discussed so far. There are so many Indian standards for various other products. By adopting Indian standards and ensuring purchase of BA certified products, Gram Panchayats will be able to provide safe and quality products to women and children in their village. The journey has just begun.